In this video we'll see how to import Excel worksheets in a table using ad hoc distributed queries, a powerful tool of Microsoft SQL Server. We have a simple table for storing products informations composed by an alphanumerical code, which is a primary key, a description and a price. And as you can see, our table is empty. Then we have an Excel file with a list of products with the same information we want to store. Please note two things. First, we can have any layout for our Excel file. SQL Server will be capable of extracting data no matter how it is presented. And second, we must consider how our worksheet is called because we'll need this information to forge properly our queries. First of all, if our SQL Server is not properly configured yet, we must enable ad hoc distributed queries option, otherwise we won't be able to link our Excel file. This can be done with two instructions that involves the SP configure storage procedure, which give us the possibility to configure the server according to our needs. Show advanced options must be set to 1 in order to access further parameters, which are disabled by default. Having done this, we can finally enable ad hoc distributed queries, like our example shows us. As we have said, those two instructions configures the server, hence they must be executed a single time on each server we want to use this way. Let's see our query. It's a simple insert over a select. The select predicate works on open row set, which is a wrapper to the remote connection to data from a NoloDB source. In our case, we specify first data connector, then the source file type and its path, and finally the query to execute over a given worksheet. Note that our worksheet's name is the one we specified in Excel followed by the dollar character. It is important to include this character every time we refer to an Excel worksheet. Excel file must not be in use when we execute this type of queries. And if we execute our script, we can see our products table becoming populated with Excel records. Like this. In this example I had used very simple queries over our data, but the real extent of distributed queries goes far beyond this, representing a powerful tool of which we must be aware.